Good morning, everyone. This is Asus ZenBook UX 434F, quite new model, price around 200 pound. Did last for six months and then the hinges is broken, which affected the screen. So today in this video, we're going to replace the screen and hinges. By the way, the hinges comes built in with this screen. So which is good option to change it. But it's really expensive. So we had to find one original second hand one. I tried more than a couple of weeks from eBay and suddenly I found one of them. Somebody is selling for 60 quid. Can you imagine? Normally, if you want to get this new one, it would cost you more than 280 pounds. So the screen is 14 inch touch enable screen. To buy it, search with the model number and check the physical appearance. If similar, you can get one. So I do have the screwdriver set from iFixit. You should have just any screwdriver, does not matter. Okay, this is some sort of pantaloupe screw, so I need to find the right one. Once we found, then we're going to take out all the screws from the back cover to pull the back cover off and get access into the main board. Then we're going to disconnect the battery first, disconnect the LCD connector, take out all the screws uh, from the hinges, and then we'll separate the top panel from the bottom panel. All right. And then we're going to attach this one. It's going to be simple and easy. But because of the screen is quite sensitive and flimsy, be careful when you do it while you handle it, okay? So under the pad, they have a couple of screws in there, which is hidden, you know. They're done same as HP, because HP always like to keep the screw hidden, so that would not be third-party repair friendly. By the way, we've been able to locate these two screws, so before you pull the back cover off, make sure you take out these two screws and keep the pad attached because there is glue so you can just you know attach into the back cover so you don't lose it and then you should have some sort of plastic or metal pry tool i do suggest plastic because if this is first time in your life and trying to separate the back cover you're going to leave a lot of marks anyway you know so try to have some sort of plastic one by the way the machine had a lot of marks but still i do care when i do repair or replacement okay so that's the one goes here which is damaged before maybe they dropped it a couple of times but that's okay so first thing let's take out the battery connector with some sort of plastic tool okay don't use any sort of metal because this is highly dangerous okay once it's done we are good to go we're going to disconnect just the lcd connector and then we're going to disconnect both hinges by removing 336 or 448 screws all right so let's find it so i can see this is the touch connector which also has to be disconnected and also in that side the lcd flex connector let me tell you something this flex connector is really weak and poor in condition so when you pull this off make sure you're really careful because there are 30 cables in there so if you just pull it little bit accidentally, you're gonna damage, you're gonna damage this flex. And once you damage the flex, the game is over. Okay. All right. Maybe you're gonna say, okay, this screen we are replacing anyway, so we don't need this cable, right? But still, you can do a good practice. So when you change the new one and plug it in, you're gonna be absolutely accurate. Okay. So the alignment has to be correct before you pull in or pull out. Otherwise, the LCD would be damaged, plus that might damage the actual GPU. And never ever do this replacement when the battery is connected. Because I found many people, they try to replace the screen, but they end up with damaging the GPU shorted the main board. Why? Because they left the powerful battery connected, so there were electricity which damaged. Okay. So, now let's disconnect those two hinges. Keep the screw organized so you don't get confused when you put it back. I hope you would enjoy this video. Still, if you do have any question, make sure you leave it in the comment section. And if you do like, please don't forget to subscribe. That would support me a lot. Thanks for watching. 
Let's enjoy this. Press stop the video.
So finally, the replacement has done. Because of this is original screen, I found the screen quality exactly same. Okay, so in your case, try to get the original screen. It would give you much better refresh rate rather than copy one. Okay, and if you try to find second and one, it would cost less and save a lot. But it's really difficult to find. So I can see the screen is working absolutely fine without any issues. Thanks for watching. Still, if you do have any question, leave it in the comment section. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye for now. Thanks.